Yeah, here we are with Mark Fichette, my buddy, in his studio. Uh, typical bootlegger fashion. Of course, this is an Irish whiskey. Uh, I brought a little Jameson. I'm plying my buddy Mark Fitch to uh, play some uh, guitar through our new Blues 1530 amp. Mike, Mark, I need to drink more, Mark. And what, Mark? With what guitar? Is this what? With the bootlegger DeVille. So we're just going to do some um, different setups on the Blues 30 amp so you get some idea of the different sounds that can happen. Maestro. Well, what are we doing now first? We are locked into, uh, the, the amp is on 15 watts, so it's switchable 30 or 15 watt. So it has 15 and 30. Yeah, yeah. 15 or 30, 15 correct. Or 30. And this is kind of an unusual um, switch. It's recessed into the uh, cabinet. I did not want something that could just be easily thrown and blow the speaker or the amp. So, ah. you know, it's not, it's, it's a different switch than the power standby. So we're on 15 watt. Uh, the gain is, this is the gain channel for channel one. There's two channels on the amp. Ch channel one is only 6L62 driven 12AT7 preamp sound, tonal sound. So we're gonna start 15 watt Pure tube sound, no boost, no drive. Just clean. Clean. Maybe some. Yeah, buddy. The beautiful tonal sounds of Mark Pichet. <laughs> right. Well, try, let's try a different switch. <laughs> tank and um, so we can go a little bit more gain and Mark you can go a little bit more heavy for us if you'd like. And, and that's do we have like a master volume on this or? Yeah well you have gain and master volume. Let's turn the master down just down a bit just because yep. so I don't peg our recording. Okay. There we go. Rolling the reverb back a bit to start. Oh yeah. What does that sound to you like? What type of music right now, would you yes. use that setting for? Oh, well, the, the previous setting, obviously, more jazz or even the country, you know, just clean stuff, right? Sure. But, you know, this little, just a little bite like this. What's important in, uh, oh, the strap is just not going to work. Just go away. <laughs> what's important, what's important in an amp or in, in a guitar. So you got this clean sound. Is this the game for? This is game for channel one. I'm going to turn a little bit. But then what's important is that, this is up all the way. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. Is that, do we need a refill of this stuff? I think we need a refill. We're recording. Well, we're recording. One second. Go ahead. Nice roll. Go ahead. Cheers, little whiskey. 
Ah. So we're talking about you got the gain and we've got the gain for We got channel one. Full gain. The clean channel. Full gain. So full I was saying gain. that as a blues player, when I do blues, jazz, I would just use the clean channel and I would and I actually yeah. we'll, well jazz, I'll clean no, it. No, no, well, no, okay. no, 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 we're still in this. One of this. So 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 I like a, an amp and a guitar set up that if I'm playing, like I just did that blues, if I hit it hard, yeah. it breaks. But if I'm sort of, and without even using the volume, I'm using, you know, my sensitive right hand tie. No volume on this hand, no volume on this hand. So that's relatively clean. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a little, 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 little slight. But then when I go... But if I go, yeah. and it, well, let's make a note here. We have m mainly your controls are all just. Pssst. Yeah, I'm pretty much just zeroing out the. It's, it's, it's a, just straight up. So we're in the middle. We're compromising. Yes. So it, it, you know, it's, we can't do this here because when you're playing a gig, you might go. Oh, you know, for whatever reason, I might say, you know, I'm on my bit. You know, my. Uh, 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 pick up, but it's still muddy to me, maybe. You know, yeah, that kind of thing. All right, so now that we've done that, you want to try the gain for the channel two? You want to channel two? Well, let's see what happens. Prepare yourself. All right, so now we're going to switch over to two, which is interesting. Go ahead and hit a, hit a note. Oops. Okay, that's channel two. So when you just switch between one and two, it's not a big difference. Slightly, Slightly yeah. of a boost, like a lead boost, yeah. so to speak. Unless you hit, which is now turning on the uh, onboard drive or dirt. Okay. Ready? Just straight 15 watt full gain channel 2. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'd have to make that face. <laughs> It's not really like a, a, like the Mesa Boogie or that where it's like that. Yeah, I mean, no, I obviously. Yeah. Nah, if you want that, this is a this is a blues amp, man. Yeah. If you want that, just put a if you put a pedal on with this, like a little booster, yeah. this thing would be like very very. So that's actually, and also we're in a living uh, living we're in a studio, where, you know, when you turn these things up, they tend to sing more too. Yeah. And we're at we're at more of a. There is a full loop. Loop, but yeah, we're just demonstrating the amp itself. And it's a blues, it's a rock blues amp. So wait a minute. On 15 watts. Yeah, so and that's your master now, right? So Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, so now what? Now well, if you want to go to the next level, level. I'll back everything off. I'm gonna go There's to, another level here. <laughs> gonna go back to channel one, right? And now we're going to go to 30 watts. <laughs> This is 30 watts on the clean channel with gain. With a little gain, yeah, all, all gain. Yeah. So this is like six gain. Natural 
tube overdrive. There's nothing. This is a natural tube being overdriven. Oh, natural tube being overdriven, meaning that like if, yeah, and no, no, you know, so clipping. You know. Yeah. yeah. No. So now if I go to, to the second, this kicks in the same 606 tube section, but it has a, but it has like a boost pedal or a dry pedal in front. Okay, I can do this. Watch. All right. Okay. Volume down. Crank that. But that's without the boost. Oh, and it's got. Is this, is this all so, a foot switch? Yeah. Pedal. Well, channel one or channel two are foot switchable. Yeah. So you have to decide if you want the boost or not the boost on channel two. Right. That is not yet switchable. You hit that. Now you're full boost. <laughs> Santana or somebody Santana kicks it in right and it's mm -hmm. like sustained. You need well, I think he probably uses a pedal too. Or, or a lot of those guys use two amps. Sure. You switch. Yeah. You have your other bootleggers that have more of a overdrive, like the, the more of a metal sound, right? Sure. Yeah. And we have two pedals that can give you that as well. <laughs> click over to channel two, it's going to be on. At first I wonder, well, why is it on? Then I realized, well, you have to boost on. But then, then you know, I, otherwise you're going to be surprised. You're going to hit it and go off shit. Right? Surprise. Yeah. No surprise. Solid wood cabinet, solid, <laughs> solid wood cabinet, a heavy speaker with a heavy heat sink. It's like 46 pounds. No, that's not too bad. It got heavier and heavier though. It started at about 40, but we kept improving it, improving it. And do you have do you sell it as a head and a speaker like separate? Not yet, but that's something that I have to do. Is that less money? Oh yeah. You when you're doing when you're you know when you're trying to get a, a warm fat at the same time you know dark tone. Every guitar is different, every pickup's different, and even sometimes we, the way you touch the volume. Some jazz guys will roll off the some jazz guys will roll the tone off here. Yeah. Which is kind of woofy. Yeah. But it might sound good, you know, for solos. Yeah. Or not, you know. That sounds good. No, that's a great jazz tone. What do you think? Oh yeah. So yeah, I mean. Well, I think I'm supposed to be doing a demo on this thing at one point in time or another. I think you are. I think, you know, I think this is what we're doing. No, but I mean a demo of the guitar. Oh, yes. Of oh, that guitar. Of oh, the guitar. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. So if we, <laughs> if we, you know, how long? It's been a few months. But yeah, at a certain point. We're good. Look guitar. forward to Mark Fitchett's demo on the DeVille guitar. Or uh, this, is, this is original bootlegger music. Yes. This is uh, influenced by the Jameson Irish. This is, Today's choice. Yeah, today's choice. Jameson. One thing 
I love about tube amps is just the fact that they go, you know, Hendrix used tube amps to get sonic. Oh, we, we should show a little sonicness of the amp. The amp does reverb. It do, I mean, it does feedback yeah. and such. So, uh, do you feel like some feedback? What's that? Do you feel like playing some feedback? Hendrix-esque? How do we do that? I, I think you turn the amp up a little bit more and, like, and like you just amp? start going crazy and throw it at the amp. Oh, yes, yeah, smash it. Smash it at the amp and everything. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's try it, shall we? Because I was doing it at home and it was a blast. Did you, did you, did you turn it all the way on 10? That's what you're doing? No, I don't think so. Let's, let's find out. That's the power of tubes. There you go. All right. That's good. Mm.